the yellow school bus, a familiar sight on the country roads, began its daily journey. Laughter and chatter filled the air. Children were heading home, their thoughts on after-school snacks and playtime. Then, everything changed. The bus swerved violently. Metal screamed, glass shattered. The world turned upside down. On that ordinary afternoon on a quiet stretch of Ballyblack Road East near Carador County Down, a normal school day turned into a parent's worst nightmare. It was a scene of chaos and terror, a moment frozen in time that would haunt the memories of those present. The bus, carrying 28 primary school students, lay on its side, a stark reminder of the fragility of life. Books, bags and shattered glass were strewn across the road, creating a chaotic mosaic of the children's daily lives now disrupted. The air was thick with the smell of gasoline and the sound of children crying a symphony of distress that pierced the hearts of onlookers. Some children managed to free themselves, their faces pale with shock, their eyes wide with fear and confusion. Others remained trapped, their cries muffled by the twisted metal, their small hands reaching out for help. The first responders arrived to a heart-wrenching scene, their training kicking in as they assessed the situation. Paramedics, their faces grim, rushed to triage the injured, their hands moving swiftly yet gently. Firefighters worked feverishly to free the trapped children, their determination unwavering despite the daunting task. A sense of urgency filled the air, every second precious, every action critical in the race against time. A makeshift casualty centre was set up in a nearby field, a stark white tent against the backdrop of the rolling green hills, a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. It all happened so fast, he said, clutching his mother Stacy's hand. One moment, everything was normal, and the next, chaos erupted around us. One minute we were laughing, the next we were on our sides. The bus had flipped, and our world turned upside down in an instant. I remember people screaming, and then everything went quiet. The silence was almost more terrifying than the noise. Dylan, his voice filled with fear, whispered, We pulled each other out. We had to help. We couldn't just leave anyone behind. At the school gates, parents gathered, their faces etched with worry and fear. They had no idea what had happened, only that something was terribly wrong. The news of the accident had spread like wildfire, each ring of the phone amplifying the dread. Every call brought more questions than answers. They clung to each other, seeking solace in shared anxiety as they awaited news of their children. The uncertainty was unbearable, but they found strength in unity. This is a parent's worst nightmare. The bravery of the children and the swift actions of the emergency services were remarkable. Our thoughts and prayers are with the injured children and their families. We are a strong community and we will get through this together. The school will provide all necessary support to the students, families and staff affected by the tragedy. My thoughts are with all those affected by the terrible bus crash in County Down, wishing a speedy recovery to those injured. The community will rally around those affected, as we always do. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows over the accident site, the investigation was already underway. Police investigators meticulously examined the scene, searching for clues to the cause of the crash. The bus, a mangled wreck, was towed away for further examination. The road remained closed, a somber reminder of the day's tragic events. The community, united in grief and support, rallied around the families impacted by the accident. Offers of help poured in, meals, childcare, transportation, anything to ease the burden of those facing unimaginable hardship. The tragic bus crash in County Down serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the unpredictable nature of accidents. It underscores the critical importance of child safety in every aspect of their daily lives, from their journey to school to their time spent in classrooms. This incident is a call to action for all of us, parents, educators, policymakers, to ensure the well-being of our children both on and off the road. We must work together to implement and enforce safety measures that protect our young ones. As we strive to understand how this tragedy occurred, let us also remember the importance of community. It is within our communities that we find the strength to heal and the resolve to prevent future tragedies. 
In the face of adversity, the people of County Down came together, offering solace, strength and unwavering support. Their collective response is a testament to the power of unity and compassion. This spirit of unity and compassion, though born out of tragedy, is a beacon of hope, reminding us of the enduring power of the human spirit. It shows that even in the darkest times, we can find light through our shared humanity. Let us carry this spirit forward, working together to safeguard our children and strengthen our communities. By fostering a culture of safety and support, we can create a brighter, more secure future for the next generation.